like a bow. All right, ladies. So five signs that he doesn't love you anymore. And you guys have to understand before anything, this is normal. This is a normal part of humans, human relationships. And that sometimes there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that every relationship has a time limit. Everything in life has an expiration date, even love. The only thing that doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't have an expiration date is with blood, with our family. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta realize that every relationship you're in will end either through death or by somebody losing interest. So do not feel bad. You're not the only one. It's okay to be dumb. We've all been there. You know what I'm saying? So if this is happening to you and you're experiencing these things, Please understand that you're not the only one. We've all been through it, okay? So don't feel bad. I've been dumb. I've been kicked to the fucking curb. All right, the first one is that when on your birthday, there's not a lot of enthusiasm. Like it's like it's like he he go he doesn't he doesn't have that enthusiasm for your birthday. He doesn't he doesn't put thought into it. You see what I'm saying? And this is more related to when you've been with him for like a year or so. If we if he takes you to his birthday, and you notice that there's no enthusiasm. You notice that he just takes you out, but it's like he doesn't he doesn't spend too much time with you. You don't you don't spend the night with him. He doesn't make you feel special. You kind of feel like you kind of feel like he's not giving you all. You can sense it. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't love you that much. If you gotta remind him that it's your birthday and to celebrate it, he doesn't love you that much. You know, it, it is really hard to say that. I've been in that situation, I've been with a girl. A few, like um, last year, I remember, where I celebrated her birthday, and I just did it because I felt bad, you know? Like, I took it to a nice place. I got, you know, but I, I only did it because I felt bad, you know? No, I mean, she, she's this girl from, from London. Like, she, she, she was living here. And I did it because I felt bad for her, you know? And after the day, you know, like, she, she asked me to, to, to come back to my place, and I was like, fuck, like, I want to go home, man. I'm done with this shit. It's sad. It's sad, people. It's sad. It's sad. You got to learn how to read people, ladies. You got to read people, please. You can, or else you're going to look pathetic out there. Um, by the way, ladies, don't forget, I have a seminar coming up on the 25th of September. Go to the description down below to check it out when. And I have a few seminars coming up in, London, in, um, in L.A. and Miami, all right? Um, the first one, I, I may do it in November. Yeah, I may do it in November um, the 15th, perhaps, and after that, I, I'm, I'm going to think about when, um, but I'm definitely going to go to Miami and London, so you guys you guys should check it out. And that seminar is going to be about how to how to maintain a healthy relationship. So it's going to be a, like a like a, a one-day seminar, but it's going to be about relationships. My seminars usually are not about relationships. They're usually about spirituality, so it's going to be unique. And also, I'm going to be having a retreat next year in Mexico. Um, and we're gonna be doing like a like a, a meditation retreat where, where I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity to do some DMT, to meditate on shrooms, to go look at the pyramids on shrooms. It's gonna be really nice, and um, it, it's more gonna be like a spiritual retreat. So I hope you guys like it. It's gonna be like three or four days. The next one is drinks around. He usually when he's he, when he hangs out with you, that motherfucker gotta get drunk around you. He gotta get drunk. When he's with you, he either has to spark a blunt. Or he has to drink. The point is, is that he kind of he doesn't feel that chemistry. So he needs to do something to kind of feel enlivened around you. You know what I'm saying? Or you guys only hang out when you guys have sex. Or or he's only cool with you before he has sex with you. Or or you only hang out with him with his friends. Like the point is, is that he cannot have a moment with you of intimacy. He cannot have a moment with you without anything stimulating him. You get, you get what I'm saying? And that's a sign that you just don't do it for him anymore, you know? The second, the third one is that the sex isn't as good anymore, right? But I'll be honest with you, this is something natural, okay? I'll be honest with you, this is very natural. But it, it also correlates, though. You know, it's not, correlation doesn't equal causation, but it correlates that if somebody doesn't like you, they'll just stop having sex with you as much. But this is a little confusing because sometimes a person does love you, but that naturally the sex lowers because when a guy gets in a relationship or even when a guy gets married, his testosterone lowers. And that's there so that he doesn't cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like the lowering of the testosterone is to avoid cheating, I believe. But it also means sometimes the person just doesn't like you anymore. You know, and I, that's happened with me where I'm with a girl and like <laughs> I'll let her suck my dick, but I won't fuck her because I'm just not attracted to you no more. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know? He's an asshole. Yeah, I'm an, I am an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fucking asshole. You, you better fucking believe I am, right? But that's the thing, unfortunately, man. You guys got to learn to read people. It's vital. And the last one is that he's spending less time with you. He's, he prefers to spend more time alone. He, you notice he has less tolerance around you. He doesn't like to hang out with you as much anymore. He'd rather hang out with his friends than with you. And there's always a reason why he doesn't want to hang out, right? But the thing is about these kind of guys is that they feel guilty for, for, for pushing you away. So they'll, they'll, they'll tell you they like you. They'll give you words. They'll try to convince you. And heck, they'll even text you saying, baby, I love you. Baby, I miss you. But the actions don't show it. The actions don't show it. The reason why people... When, they're, when they don't love you, the reason why they tell you they love you is because they feel guilty. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to be that person. You, you get what I'm trying to say? And those are the five signs that a guy is is, is not in love with you anymore. And heck, even forgetting even forgetting anniversary, man. And, and last one is that he's just not romantic with you anymore. Anymore, you know? Like, and he's not romantic with you as much as he used to anymore. And that's a big problem, man. I feel bad um, because I've been in that situation on both sides and it's difficult man it really is but it's your responsibility to be able to read that it's your responsibility it's if you get played it's your fucking fault it's that simple it's your fault and 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 with the girls that i've been with that this happened to where i i was i was the one who was doing it to them i felt bad i'm not gonna lie i really felt bad because i could see the fucking humongous difference between how i feel versus how they feel but it's not my fault too bad like if she's gonna do it with if she doesn't with me, if she doesn't do it with me, she's gonna do it with somebody else. <laughs> you know, like you get you get what I'm trying to say. Like if it's a, if it's not with me, it's gonna be with somebody else. If you're not if you don't get played by him, you're gonna get played by somebody else. It's, it's how that works, man. All right, ladies. So don't forget seminar seminar in New York City. Purchase the tickets. We're about to be sold out. Check it out now before the tickets get sold out. Um, and if you guys need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you guys know where to go on the description down below. Peace out, my friends. Oh, and don't forget, people. Um, check us out on pay on the mind for attraction Academy It's the VIP section for all of my subscribers where we have the book club the mind for attraction the mind for attraction book club we have videos that we don't post on Inst on YouTube and we post it there instead right it's a place where you get it's a, it's like my other YouTube channel where I answer your questions and you're able to ask me questions and I answer them in a form of a video, okay? So it's a good it's a good deal for a lot of people who want to work with me at an affordable price. So go check it out and I'll see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know. It, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self awareness. Healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women of power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. 
and how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop destroy, and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars. Um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat. So I really, most likely, I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you could pre-order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a ten day retreat to do, and I wanna I wanna finish the course um, after the retreat because I think the the ideas are gonna be so much better. All right, man. I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.